invite the team leaders? Yes, so we will right now discuss with the team leaders uh, for a short interviews and then uh, then we will be moving Hello, on to the dead match. I just moved everybody here. Yep, yep. Hello, guys. Hi, Hello. Okay. Perfect. Hello, hello, everyone. So, we have Metacan and Padlo. If you could, guys could introduce yourself. My name is Ivan, not Padlo, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm from uh, Team Kittens. <laughs> so, any questions if you have? And uh, sorry for my English, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. That is uh, very rarely we meet uh, someone who is, you know, native yeah, English yeah. speaker. No problem. I can, I can tell you something about our game if you want. Uh, yeah, just in a moment. Uh, we also have Metekan, right? Representing Lamaland. Hello, Mete. Hello, Combo. Hello, all. Hi. Welcome. Uh, from the Lamaland. So I'm just here to speak. Do you, normally, our leader, team leader, is Loan. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you for all the organization. Cool. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you, man. Uh, okay, so let's move to the first question uh, to the team, team Kitten. Congratulations on taking the first place. Uh, I wanted to ask you uh, how, um, or maybe out of the three matches, which one did you like the best? Uh, one more time, which battle? Yes, out of the three battles there were to there, which one did you like the best? One more, I didn't understand. Three battles? Yes, you, you played three battles, right? You had two sieges so, so and three, one. Three, okay, three. Which one? So which was the, the best in your opinion? <laughs> in my opinion, of course, second one, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> because it was, it was a total win. Uh, yeah, yeah. Second one, of course. <laughs> okay, and uh, anything specific about this game? Other than, of course, your victory? Did you like uh, how you like you know, something worked well for you? No, no, it it it, it wasn't easy, you know. You know, I like mm -hmm. it just because just because of win. It it, it wasn't easy uh, because you know uh, we have only se uh, seven hundred leadership, yeah. So we must uh, take one uh, must uh, take uh, blue troops, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the first battle, when we see uh, how the guys used uh, firemen, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, <clears throat> we was we was very surprised, and uh, maybe we make a mistake and we take uh, such units uh, for our presets in the second battle, yeah. And uh, we didn't use them so good, like guys from Lama Land, you know. <laughs> okay. Everybody, uh, every battle was very hard and very interesting for us. Okay. One question from my side: um, Did you expect it, that Lama Land was such a hard enemy for you? No, no, it was a very big surprise, you know. <laughs> very, 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 very big surprise for all my team, you know. We have many experienced players, very experienced players. And uh, they were surprised too, you know. So it was very interesting. Okay, um, cool. Uh, so now moving back uh, to Metacan, Metacan from Lamaland. Uh, uh, congratulations as well. You are advancing to quarterfinals, so second place, but but definitely well well played. Um, so maybe what is your opinion on the second game then, where you have lost the uh, attack? I'll think to Ivan. Ivan is right. He's Ivan, yep. yep. Ivan, thanks for it, honestly. And actually, to be honest, in in my opinion, the second battle was the best for me too. But because it was kind of harder uh, attack, always much more fun. I think we lost just because we couldn't use our advantage. Uh, we could use more or advantage, so we just missed some points. But we did the last push. That was also good. We already know our enemy, but unfortunately, we also know they solve our. Uh, combination at the first begin and we knew it they will use some of our units so that's why we make some changes in the team but so it was a hard attack so they already experienced people we all know it and they defend very well cool thank you very much uh cb any questions yeah, I, got, I got a question to you for your meta um we saw that after you captured the a point you were on the on the stairs you got five guys on the right side and ten guys on the left side and 
we believe that you couldn't really see kittens and that you really took a long time before you finally went down the stairs. What, 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 were your, what was your team discussing at that point? Can you tell us? Actually, uh, um, I'm not sure I should tell about that because we weren't talking about the game at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are not focused enough on the game, and that's that's why you so, so much time. That. that makes sense. Okay, okay. Yeah, thanks. And uh, then for uh, uh, for uh, for Team Kittens, uh, um, we saw that you uh, captured all the supplies at the at the backside. Was it something you had planned for? Uh, yeah, it was a plan, but it, we make it later. Then we discuss. You know, uh, first uh, we have uh, uh, we think that we can use our calf, go out, you know, and to kill much troops, you know. But uh, after uh, <clears throat> we decided to uh, to stay in the, in, in, the, in defense, yeah. And it's our one of our uh, raid leaders go out, you know. <laughs> he he make it in the ranked matches. He make it in the siege. He know he know how to do it, you know. <laughs> so we send one experienced guy, yeah, uh, uh, to bite them, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, and do we have any other questions from the caster team? Uh, I had one question. Uh, that appeared uh, with uh, the Twitch chat of the German cast. Um, and it's about the rule of the free death and you're out. Are you happy with that rule? Or uh, do you think it it's a big disadvantage for for the team who... Um, so, like, you did you lose the first match because two players of you were out of the game? And uh, did you lose the second game because uh, three players of your team were out? So, on the side of Kitten and um, Lamaland? What do you think, Matt, and then Pablo? Uh, I can answer that question. Actually, Rules was uh, totally good. And uh, I didn't. See, we didn't see any unbalanced rule, or uh, actually, they all was logic and all fine for us. Okay, but we didn't uh, lose just because of rules, um, because we couldn't focus enough. That's all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I also think that this uh, that, that rules are logical. You know, uh, I didn't say that our players play more carefully because of the rule. No, no, it's not that like that uh you may play uh, and use your brain more maybe you know mm -hmm. so so uh, three, three lives is enough okay i want to thank someone uh thank you kepa uh, thank you so much my friend for this game it was so fun and thank you all guys for the organization cool nice to meet you all Thank you very much. Yeah, guys. Nice, you like you, man. nice to meet you too. Yeah. Yeah. So, congratulations on your battles today and on advancing to the quarterfinals to both of you. And uh, we will be meeting shortly in the friendly deathmatch uh, just to top it off, right? Okay. It will be seven, seven with seven or five with five. How much? Uh, I think you can put everybody in. Yeah. How many people you have? We can put in. Uh, yeah. It's we, 50, we have, 50. We have already, we have already five people, you know. Okay. So we can make yeah. it five v five. Oh, it or maybe sense. if uh, Matt, if you have more than five, you can balance it out. So it can be you know you can place some people here in the both teams, as you wish. Uh, it's up to Ivan, how, however he wants. Uh, we can my mix. guys want to play five v five, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Just let's see it. five in versus five in a moment. Thank you very much, then, guys, and uh, good luck in the later, in the you, further Thank stages. You so much. See ya. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Yeah, interesting developments. But let's go to the death match. Yeah, so we have five v five. Switching up over here uh, to the game screen. Uh, yeah. So Kishas, Pishas, and Goat. Yeah. Two dual blades will be having and the rest of the armor. No cometa on the medium armor. So we will see how it will go for them right now. Yeah, no musket on the Lama Land team. I hope uh, they don't regret that after the game. Yeah, and we can see only one Hussar skin on the battle, so I am already calling the red team 
of Lamaland winning this with one Hussar skin only on the battle. But let's see. Right now the teams are grouping in in the middle. Sexy Keva trying to watch the flank. And Dual Blade as well coming late to the party. The battle is starting. We can see Hammer being targeted for the Lamaland. He's getting down with Khan. And two Dual Blades. <laughs> they just altered themselves. So yeah, laying around. Just one for running on the side, not caring about everything else that's going on. First kills come in for Sofina. As the friend was trying to run away, but he's getting killed by Pretty Khan. As this deck of four Dual Blade joins in, killing Sexy Kid up there. Uh, this is a pretty cool game so far. Let's see, 2 on 1. Can we all the other people get away? Yes, he can. Just the goat player. Oh, that was good from the other. Yeah, and we see Team Kitten actually coming on top right now with 5 kills to 2 deaths, right? This is definitely a good advantage for the first kind of a battle we had seen over here. Interesting that the dual blades were not flanking the, the uh, targets, right? Because, yeah. The only target there is are either the mouse or maybe the the, the best one would be the the musket, right? But uh, yeah, the, the dual blades were not able to flank anyone, catch anyone. They were just battling it between themselves. And we see Pishesh Pishesh here, very interesting suit, trying to find his target. And they are focusing right now here on the back end on the hammer. Uh, seems like the whole team will be focusing one target. Or no, they have again switched around and will be fighting many different targets. Pishet Pishet very low, nice, God killed him, very well played, with a little bit of help, but managed to do it. And here at the back end we can see the heavy armor brawl still moving forward. For now it's one to one. He continues to dance around the team, he got caught, but then he got away. So well done by him on the mascot. Yeah, he's healing currently, so uh, very good that he was able to retrieve full HP before the fight continues. And right now we can see a lot of low HP on Lamaland and one already dead, sexy kebab killed. Coden also running around for his life with the Hussar skin. Come on, wings will give you the speed. Or will they? We'll see in a moment. Goat counter killed Kishibishi after the kill. Komita picks up another kill on Coden. And let's see if... This hammer can do enough damage there. No, can't catch him. Oh, look at that. That's how you do with a figure hammer. Yeah, Avenger, Avenger may, may, making it out as well. And we can see twice the score for Team Kitten 8 to 4 still going to continue with their advantage. Even moving one step further, 9 to 4. But Berserker will die or will he not die? Oh my god. Zero HP running away. Very lucky man today to lead another second and still fight is continuing. Right now Cometa is in quite a big problem. He's not having too much support and he cannot run away. He's low HP as well. Dual Blade will... Ah no, okay, the run away skill. Again. Yeah, <laughs> last second, last second jump away skill was there. Managed to survive. So very lucky from Team Kitten. Three players just, just about, right? Just about with zero HP or close run away. In one by one, so this was very, very good from their end. Very good management on that unlock department. We'll take a short breather right now. Yeah, Seems luckily like we that. can. Let's see if Goat starts to heal up as well as he got that final kill. He didn't let that one get away from him. Um, Cometa leading the charge with four kills right now. Uh, he's pretty impressive on the musketeer. As we get another fight, no, not yet. So last week we saw that um, the the team that won with Xayah and they, they continually healed really quickly after each battle. And that uh, showed to be very effective because they were always full health whenever they re-engaged. We can see that both teams are waiting it out for now. Yep. I mean, uh, last time the, the fights I think were um, more constant but less intensive, right? So there were like three people fighting constantly and two healing and then they exchange and they exchange and they exchange. So this was much more uh, uh, ongoing. Here we can see a battle and a stop and a battle and a stop and a battle and a pause. And it seems like they will be choosing different arena right now. Thank you very much for the viewers. Pleasure. We are going to fight on the right side of the map right now. Looking, of course, from the perspective of Lamaland as they are preparing the push. We can see that the dual blade is running around, dancing in the back the flank and then yeah the fight is still continuing here goat managed to 
captured Chesh Pishesh first and he dies very fast, light armor disadvantage, you have no survivability. And then for the fight, Goat, vice versa, he's being caught and killed by Cometa. Very nice shooting from this player today, a lot of kills. And then the fight continues. We have seen Khan trying to infiltrate the back end. Sexy kebab with his ultimate unfortunately missed but just a slight amount of space. Berserker very low HP going to die in a second. He will not survive this time. No more luck for you, my friend. And then unfortunately Lamaland playing in big disadvantage. 3 versus 4. As the fight is happening closer to Team Kitten base, we can see that they are moving in faster with their supply and Cometa killing sexy kebab as well right now. Oh great CC there. That might turn it around as the, it looked like the Team Kitten was starting to lose it, but then the big CC on three players yeah. actually managed to get them to win there on that fight. All three have died in one spot, so this was definitely a game changer here. And we can also observe the new skin, I mean very nice colors, with, the, with all of the tentacles flying around and uh, your helmet and so on. Very interesting skin. <laughs> We will, will we see the same battle happen in the same place? Because the statistics are still the same. Two times more kills on the Team Kitten side. 16 versus 8. 8 minutes on the clock, so definitely a lot of time left to prepare and to execute what you want and how you want it. For now... Short for Tengage on Komoya, but he gets again from the second one. That was so close to being well-timed. But now he's out of the fight for a few seconds, but he's already back in. As they do manage to take him down, well done. So let's see if uh, Lamaland can clear this up now, now that he's gone as a damage dealer. As we see Kisha Pisha being pushed away, he's low on health, getting chased by Betty the Khan. Uh, meanwhile, ooh, great world of greeting from Sex to Bob. Follow up yet. As Khan Dami gets down, he's killed. Yeah, good. Cometa is back with full skills and full health, so he will be he is going to deal the damage, but definitely eliminating him first gets a big advantage to the Lamaland. They eliminated the main damage dealer and uh, the plan was good, but the execution was not that great. The after after they eliminated eliminated him, they were running around a little bit. I think they are not sure on the targets. It looked like they wanted to attack this player and then move to another one and another one, and this Oh my god, the goat, what did he just did? Does he get away? Looks like he might. Oh no. Oh, a very nice yeah, shoot from Cometa. Time to follow up on this. Yeah, I mean, Cometa just... I should. I think he should rename himself to the sniper, right? With all the headshots he has been pulling away. Uh, actually, his shot in the back and staggering the dual blade was crucial to capturing uh, him by his team and allowed this fight to go into the Team Kitten uh, favor. Right now, again, Team Kitten 4 versus 2, just pounding down what they can. And at the back, we see Kishesh Pishesh taking attention of Coden. He will not kill him that fast. I mean, dual blade versus short sword, you have to deal with a lot of armor, but he will take attention of the team. Uh, long enough to allow Team Kitten to clean up everything and come back and support him. So very nicely played. Yeah, quite so as the score is uh, getting out of hand here. Komata is taking everything in his own hands here. Uh, they only need four more kills for Team Kitten as they look to close in on the Lama Land uh, base. Yeah, and the teamwork is on point from Team Kitten. As you have seen, they have even healed up at the exact same point. So this is definitely very skilled players playing together for a very long time, understanding each other perfectly, able to do what they are doing right now. And we have seen that the fight is right now in two places. One is coming here and another one is in the base. We can see Gold trying to capture Cometa and immediately Sexy Kebab trying to help him. But yeah, Cometa will be able to run away. He's still being pressured on, so cannot deal that much damage. In the meantime, the Hammers from Team Kitten are pounding on Sexy Kebab. He will be dying very short if no one will help him. Cometa will just help him die sooner. That's what happened. Other than that, we have one kill left and will be B. Yes, Blue Team wins Team Kitten 30 versus 10. So actually triple the amount of kills. And all of them pretty much on Cometa. Look at the difference. 11, 1, 14. <laughs> they made their statement that the first place is there for a reason, I guess. So, good game all around. Anything to add? 
from your end, CB? Yeah, if you want to convince right now that Musket is good in duels uh, in death matches, start play playing Musket because we've seen uh, Komata and last week Sion uh, stomping everybody on the Musket here. Um, also, last week we saw that um, uh, the Glaive wasn't really effective in deathmatch. I mean, it can bring amazing CC with Warlord's Greeting, followed up by Flying Reaper. But you do need to land a combo, and if you don't, then um, it doesn't seem to work out too well for you as uh, Sexy Kebab died seven times. Um, but same for Goat. Uh, Kisha Pisha got the better of him, maybe, together with Komata, but Goat did get uh, quite a few dual blade kills. It looked pretty exciting uh, to see that in deathmatch again.